Uh, I called a taxi and the driver was, uh -huh. I looked to his face, he was uh, Arabic. And I was talking with him, um, like I told him I'm here for this purpose and uh, for that. And he told me that you're in the best place here. You will find, you will find the best woman here, really. Once you really meet your, the lady you like, you feel it. I mean, you will feel it. Then you will stop dating anyone else. Mohammed, uh, I have a bit of a surprise for you. Good morning, Mohammed. Good morning. How are you Joseph? doing? I'm fine. How are you? You feeling good? I'm feeling very well. Well, listen, thanks very much for agreeing to do this video with me. Thank you very much. I call you a 911 client. Do you remember that uh, first email you sent me? Do you yes. remember the subject line? Yes. yes. What was the subject line? Yes. It was a... Sad story. Sad story. <laughs> Maybe let's start there. So you came to Kiev, worked, 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 you were working with another agency, and maybe paint the picture of what happened. And then what I really want to ask you is, um, you know, what lessons have you learned? Mm -hmm. And what would you do differently if you could rewind the clock and do this journey looking for a Slavic wife all over again? Okay, okay. Thanks so much. Well, um, actually, um, I visited Kiev um, four or five times in the past, and uh, it was because uh, I'm a chess player, international chess player, and I came to the country to play chess. Um, I, I was like attracted by the by the Slavic uh, beauty. It's it's I mean it's it's normal. Of it's, course, it's Who normal. Is it? It's normal. And uh, later on, uh, later on, I took decision to come to the country and uh, start dating uh, ladies. I mean, I mean. For the uh, for the purpose of um, of uh, building a family and long term relation, you know it. Mm -hmm. And um, I was, I mean, I searched in the internet. I, I I found a lot of agency, and I I picked I picked one of uh, one of the agency which was in Kharkov, and I start I registered there. And um, I received uh, two or three emails from the from the management of this agency, like uh, like uh, complete your profile and uh, <coughs> and pay the for the communication fee. I mean, mm -hmm. communication fee means like if you want to send emails, you need to pay this and that. If you want to send this number of emails, you need you have this package and so on. Well, uh, just short time later, um, I real realized uh, instinctively that uh, ladies were not were not writing these emails. I mean, I mean, but someone else. Okay. Um, uh, what, what were the clue? What was the clue? If I may ask, that that it was somebody else writing, not the ladies. It was. It was like it was very good. Very good question. It was like. I wrote, for example, to two or three ladies, very normal general emails. I received the reply on the same day, on the same minute. Always, always, always. And actually, uh, it is that I know, I know how, how, how uh, East European, I mean, Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian girls reply to, to such emails. It was not a normal reply for me. It was, the reply was, you know, was, uh, Manipulo manipulated, like like it is uh, copy and paste, copy and paste, and sent. Mm -hmm. You know, it was obvious for me. It's it's not. It was not uh, that difficult to figure out. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, to that time, I've already uh, booked my flight, uh, my hotel to in Kiev, and then to Kharkov, and then in Kharkov. Because you were I'm corresponding with a number of exactly, ladies exactly, and saying, I'm, I, I, I'm coming to meet you. I'm 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 I will land directly in Kharkov. You know, it, it's it's. Uh, I'm a, I'm serious. I want to to meet them directly, not just to 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 send email. I mean, going and forward. I not mean, this I mean, virtual world. Not you want face, to face. Uh, face to face, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And uh, I landed in Kiev. Suddenly, I landed in Kiev, and uh, from the first day, I called the agency. I I told the manager there. I mean, he was a man, running a business, running the show. Okay, and I told him, okay, hello. Mr. X, I am in Kiev right now. I'm gonna take, uh, I mean, the train to, to Kharkov tomorrow. 
And suddenly he told me, no, 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 please don't come. Do not come. Uh, we are not ready to uh, yeah, like to, to, to have you in our, uh, in our office, in our agency, uh, because we have so many clients this season and, uh, and me, he, him, I mean, he, he's tomorrow in vacation as well. It was like contradiction and paradox at the same time. Mm -hmm. He's not willing to welcome me in the agency. This, is, this was number one. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he has a vacation starting tomorrow. How comes? Mm -hmm. You have nobody's in the nobody agency. Is the agency. Mm -hmm. How comes you have uh, you have many clients and you, and you have vacation starting but tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So it was uh, for me it was uh, it was a real uh, real shock. Uh, remember that, how upset I you was were upset. When you yeah, exactly, exactly. And then we spoke. Exactly. Uh, I started to make research. Uh, um, I mean to search. To search about this agency, to read about it in internet, I found many uh, complaints uh, forum. Mm -hmm. I read a lot, okay, about it. Be many people were complaining, and it's fake. It's you know, and uh, actually, it was uh, it was uh, quite stupid from me not to read about the agency when I was there in uh, in Riyadh. Uh, so. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, you you quite uh, you know uh, YouTube very well. And suddenly, I saw uh, one or two videos of you. I was watching them. You were you were interviewing ladies in in Sumi. And I started. And okay, the dialogue was very serious. And I started. Uh, then I I, I found your uh, your email and uh, I wrote you. You replied after five minutes mm -hmm. or ten minutes to my email, and you told me, "Come on, we will turn it." We will turn the sad story to be a happy story, and uh, then we spoke on the phone. We spoke in the phone, many. We spoke very yeah. quickly on the phone. You, uh, yeah. you, uh, okay. Um, the, and, and we then, spoke and everything. And then I remember. Uh, tell the story just quickly. Mm, you were going to become a client, and then I said, "Okay, submit your ten ladies for your complimentary services." Exactly. You're going to do that, but then you met a lady in the chess club. Exactly. Maybe tell that story because. It helps, you know, just you sharing all your experiences helps other guys to understand yeah. that this next point is it's not so easy. First of all, you did really well to meet somebody, but it's because you're an international chess player and you have this commonality and you yeah. met the chess club. But then maybe just um, summarize if you could, even though she liked you, why it wasn't a good fit. And please, if you could help your fellow Muslim man out and talk about what is a Muslim's real chances here and what is the Slavic attitude toward that. Because I get that question a lot yeah. you know, from, yeah. from Muslims. Yeah, That'd yeah. Be great. Well, okay, let me, t let me start with uh, meeting friends, uh, with meeting friends who are chess players, I mean, lady, I mean, female, male, and uh, of course, everything was uh, everything was open. Like a chess player, uh, like a female chess player, uh, were interested to date me as well. And uh, but okay, I mean you don't know. I mean you need you need you need really to to find uh, to find your lady at the end of the day. And uh, and um, you need to date. I mean to to meet uh, as much uh, as you can. I mean mm -hmm. because it's it's not an easy matter. But once once you really once you really meet your the lady you like you feel it I mean you will feel it then you will stop dating anyone else great advice okay yeah. so this is number one well actually um, okay let me tell you uh, the story of the lady I met uh, at the chess club right. I mean I mean we met at the chess club and we of course we, we shared the same hobby and uh, uh, we just started dating, but the problem, the problem, uh, the only problem was is that um, um, where I where I work currently is uh, is uh, you know uh, is a big constraint. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. It's mm -hmm. a closed country, and uh, actually, let us say. Most of the ladies, most of the ladies, they don't like to 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 move uh, uh, to Saudi Arabia. This is this is a big uh, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, different, definitely. There's, I mean, there's. It's not a secret. If a lady likes you, she will move uh, with you. Uh, you know, to the not only to Saudi Arabia but to the hell. Yeah. Okay, I well, always, she, I always. If she loves you, if she, she really you. loves you, if and she really she loves sees you. And the future with you, right? And if, yes, if she sees yeah. the future with you, she would move. She will move with you to Saudi Arabia, and she will. Sacrifice, but okay. still not an easy task. But st but st still, still, <laughs> still a very difficult task. Yeah. Still, really, really a very difficult task, because we have we have two opposite cultures, anti cultures. You know, Ukraine is open country, very open country. Saudi Arabia is very closed country, religious country. Okay, 
So this was uh, this was the main uh, challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, in she my, invited, in my actually, journey. She said, "Mohammed, you uh, come live in Ukraine, right?" She invited me. Yeah, and she, she invited me. She has a car me. and a flat. She she she, she, mm -hmm. she yeah she she belongs to a good family. I mean, her uh, father is doctor, uh, owner of clinic, something like that, and she invited me to just to to stay in Ukraine and of mm -hmm. course I, I I I couldn't I could not accept this uh, definitely I couldn't accept this no cuz you have a good profession I have a good and you yeah, have a contract I don't, in Saudi I yeah exactly and I don't need it I mean I don't need it this way and I have I have also two daughters that I need to see every every week mm -hmm. so uh, uh, all these things where I would describe all these things to be constrained. For example, to another country, like to move uh, for work in, in Turkey or in the USA, in Canada, would not be uh, any problem for her. Yeah. I mean, but to, 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 stir, to stay in Saudi Arabia, is a big problem. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you think she would have moved you to another country? Yeah, 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 country? Well, yeah, definitely, oh, definitely. Okay. With, well, I, mean, I mean, with no hesitation, okay. with no any hesitation. Yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, so you, you, that's when you reached out a second time, because I thought, oh, well, you met somebody on your, yeah. on your own. That's uh, rare yeah. and good for you, Mohammed, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I coached you a little bit on the phone, what to do and uh, what to look for. Yes. And then you reached out and I said, you know, yes. I'd encourage you to date yes. many ladies. Yes, yes, to yes. feel that special connection when you find your other half. The advantage of, the advantage of contacting your agencies, which is, in my opinion, a very serious agency really that once you register uh, once you register and uh, you uh, you just uh, yeah register in the agency you need to fill uh, you, f you need to fill in a, um, a, for a profile and to write an introduction letter and in this introduction letter you will be led by the agency team to highlight certain points certain uh, important uh, points like where you live uh, write, uh, you write about yourself, you write about everything about yourself, okay? And um, in this kind of profile, the ladies, they see everything from moment one. Like, they see you work, you're a professional project manager, you're a project manager, you studied this and that, your hobbies are this and that, this is your, uh, this is a summary of your previous life. And uh, and they see that you work in Saudi Arabia and you are willing to you want to you will your contract is gonna is gonna is gonna last uh, two or three years so they know it from day from day one and you don't you minimize let us say you minimize the obstacle this obstacle uh, with uh, uh, with dating I mean the date I mean you minimize the problem. Uh, from the beginning, because all ladies they see that 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 you you are working in Saudi Arabia, and they accept the dating or they don't accept it. Well, let's and let's talk about that for a second, because indeed we sent out uh, introductions, um, and I've done this with other Muslim clients too. Yeah. So you had two big obstacles, right? One, yeah. the perception that you're Muslim, right? Because you are a Muslim. Well, and the other, where you live in Saudi Arabia. Well, and yeah. so let's talk about that because okay. uh, remember when we first send out uh, your introductions to the mm -hmm. ladies, mm -hmm. you got mostly rejected, right? Um, and then forty like, percent, forty to sixty percent. Well, uh, when we first sent it out, you got rejected, yeah. right? And then Elena yeah. called. Yeah. And um, so when we call and give this extra service of our matchmaker talks to the lady and says listen he's a muslim man but he's you know he's willing to allow you to have your own religion he's accepting of course of course of course, uh, of course that was very important of course and, and remember our ladies are like well am i going to be the first wife or, or the or second us. wife i told you that yeah so elena has to talk them through that because yeah. uh it's it's important guys now watching this video that there's a there is a heavy prejudice against uh, Muslims here, mm -hmm. and uh, because there's, you know, they've gotten a bit of a bad rap, right? So it's important yeah. to have that personal service of talking to the lady, me and us knowing you, and being able to convey to the ladies really who you are. You're exactly, exactly, exactly. You're not, you're not going to lock her in the closet. <laughs> it's like and force yeah, her to convert yeah, to yeah. Islam because they're afraid of that. Yeah, yeah, right? of course, of and course. And you're normal. Her to, have her own religion, uh, very important. Definitely, definitely, yeah, and, definitely. And, 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 and yeah, any, any, anything to say about that? Well, it was like, it was like, uh, um, you study the profile of the man and you deliver, you deliver a summary and a good message to the ladies to accept the, 
a date or rejected and uh, this was very important as well is that mm -hmm. we know this guy we we met with him we talked with him so much and we understand that for example he's not ultra religious he's gonna he's gonna allow, he's not gonna interfere with uh, your belief okay yeah it's very important very important I mean, this is very are exactly orthodox and, exactly and their faith is important to them too well they don't want to convert exactly and yeah. in, in, in the me well in the meetings it was not a big problem we didn't face this issue at all uh the only obstacle was saudi i mean was i mean uh working be, being in Sa that that i work in saudi arabia right. yes and they don't want to uh um, yeah exactly to to, to to come and live there for a long time Okay. But again, we need to explain to them that this is just a work contract and that you're actually a Turkish citizen. Turkish right? citizen. And yeah. that you have a flat in Istanbul and, and you can move back to Turkey or and you're willing to immigrate to another country. Canada, US. So you showed yeah, your yeah. intention of, listen, family and your wife being happy is the most important to you. You have of a course. good profession. You can move to another country. Of course. And that was a big part of it too, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, okay. okay. You need to compro You need to make a compromise. Like, uh, okay, um, I'm working there, but I'm not uh, willing to stay there long, okay? Mm -hmm. Or either, either if you are really um, uh, uh, intending to stay there long, you need to write it to tell it from the first day. Yes. It should be, it should be Absolutely. clearly written and mentioned. Otherwise, and, and based on that, based on that, you, you're, you're gonna, uh, uh, get yeses or noes. You're gonna get a very high rejection rate, <laughs> right? If you're living in Saudi Arabia. Yes, if uh, you're living, of course. But, yeah. And tell the, the story of the taxi driver. You met uh, a, a a Muslim taxi driver from. Uh, Luton, oh yeah, actually, uh, I and, met. And a yes, gorgeous yes, yes, wife. yes, yes, yes. I met. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, it just was, again showing uh, Muslims that you can be successful here. You but can it's not be very easy. successful it's here. You can easy. be very successful here. But, uh, um, yeah, it was. It was like I, um, I call, uh, I call a taxi, and the driver was. Uh -huh, I looked to his face. He was uh, Arabic, and I was talking with him. Um, like I told him, I'm here for this purpose and uh, for that. And he told me that you're in the best place here. You will find you will find the best woman here, really, here. women who are really. Um, Family oriented, they are they they are trying to let us say to the, to, to to survive uh, the society, to survive the the fact that men here are not serious. Uh, they have a huge huge option of you know women. Of women. It is exactly yeah. exactly. It's obvious, and uh, uh, so he told me you need just to you need just to be patient. You'll find her. You'll find her. It took him. It took him. I mean, he dated and he met and he had friends, girlfriends. It took him seven years till he found his wife. Mm -hmm. Wife. So, so, so that was finally his, um, his wife. Okay. It took him time. Mm -hmm. So. One or two months in Ukraine might not be sufficient. I mean, it's also a fact. Okay. But that's one Let's thing about see. working with us as an agency that has serious ladies, highly vetted. Yes. Uh, you you take that seven years and you shrink it drastically. Shrink it exactly drastically because right? because they're marriage minded, they're serious. Yes. Uh, they know all about you, like exactly, you pointed out exactly, up front. exactly, exactly, exactly. And you get to go on many dates. Exactly. It's one filter. Afternoon. It's a filter. It's mm -hmm. a filter. Um, it's it's exactly it's a very small filter uh, uh, to I mean to reach that target mm -hmm. I mean to to minimize okay to minimize the time and effort okay right and uh, fast track your fast success. track your yeah exactly fast track exact to fast track the the whole process and um, one of the advantages um, as well in this agency of course is that you 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 select the profiles you wanna you wanna date and you get replies from day one. Yes, yes. Yes. It doesn't take long at all. I mean, you just get replies and okays, and you you get your schedule for for meetings uh, immediately. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah, from the day that you said, okay, Joe, I want to be a client. Yeah. Uh, it's not working out with what was her name, the the lady you met in the chess club. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not it's not gonna fly with her. So I want to meet your ladies. I want yeah. to become a client. Yeah. And then how long did it take us to actually have dates for you? Not even one day. One day. Not even one day. Less than one day. Well, it was one day. You talked to me the next day. The next day dates. we started. Uh, yeah. And the, what, next day one date and the, the, ne the day after two dates. Yes. Of which you canceled one. And yes. there's a lesson in there too. Yeah. You want to share that? Which you cancelled the second date because I you really the liked date. the first date. And I said, Mohammed, <laughs> be careful, 50-50, what happened? 
yeah, I canceled. It's a good lesson for guys. It's a good lesson for guys is that I canceled. Uh, I canceled a date, um, one of the dates because on I the had, same day, on the same on the same day because um, um, I don't recommend two dates. I don't. First of all, I don't recommend two dates in one day. I don't recommend sensory it. overload. Exactly, sensory overloaded. You cannot be. I mean, you, you cannot. I mean, divide your energy. I mean, uh, you, uh, you, you can concentrate only on one date and mm -hmm. seriously. Yeah. Uh, this is number one. And, so what uh, happened when you cancelled the date? I cancelled the date and requested to reschedule the date and the lady rejected uh, mm -hmm. rejected to attend any meetings. They, they are very sensible. Yeah, she and, actually told uh, Elena, uh, this, mm, he's cancelling on the same day. Mm, no, this is not this my is man. This is my man. Not okay. my man. And okay. So that's the, the, the point, the lesson to guys, is that these ladies are very sensitive. Yes. <laughs> and they know you're dating other ladies. They know they're it. They're not stupid. They know it. No, they and know it. And when you cancel, they're like, Okay, it's a rejection, and um, a lot of them wouldn't uh, date you again. They know, they know it. They feel that you are dating uh, yeah. more ladies at the same time. Sometimes you need to be, you need to be so open, so honest, and to tell the truth. Yes, I'm dating. Simply, I'm dating other ladies. I'm, I mean, this is my uh, my advice, my honest advice to to people to just to be very, very open, very, very uh, honest to the ladies. Uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna date. Um, yeah, you know, Joe. I uh, want to say uh, to say some facts about uh, match guarantee. Okay. Cool. Um, very important uh, facts is that um, when I look to the profiles, to the photos, and then met the ladies, I just um, I just um, I discovered that the ladies they're sometimes more beautiful than in photos. It happened not one time, two times, three times. I mean, it happens. I mean, it happens uh, so often that the ladies wear more pretty, more beautiful than uh, the photos. Photos, the photos were not mani manipulated or, or played with Photoshop or, or, or any other tool. This is now no, number one. All ladies were serious. <laughs> we're really serious. Whether uh, whether you found whether you found uh, the harmony and chemistry with them or not. Okay, they were all serious. And, mm -hmm. Okay. These are two, uh, let us say, uh, unique, uh, unique points at uh, this agency because I, I, I think the, the agency studies the profiles of the ladies and pay attention to the profiles of the ladies, I mean, uh, uh, so much as well. I mean, from the other hand, to the, to the guest or to the, to, the, to the man as well. Right? Yeah, we make yeah. sure the ladies are serious and marriage-minded and the men also. It's exactly. all about making sure you've got a, an equal match. Exactly. Both parties are looking for uh, love. For one and the same, you know, yes, exactly. Love family. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks, I appreciate that. So at the uh, beginning, I was saying, maybe I can ask you, what lessons have you learned? What would you do differently? Or any tips you have for other guys on the same mission <coughs> as you to find a beautiful Slavic woman and marry her? What advice would you give? Well, um, <laughs> okay. Um, I would say um, I would say be honest, 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 honest. They appreciate it really so much. Okay, mm -hmm. be be clear uh, in your approach. Do not hide any any facts on any things. I mean uh, about yourself, about yourself, your profile, <clears throat> and your intent. Yeah, exactly. Don't hide anything or or postpone anything. Tell anything from day one. They appreciate it. They appreciate being. Uh, they appreciate being uh, assertive man. Um, uh, Great tip. Yes, they assertive. Do. They because Ukrainian don't... man is very alpha male. He's exactly. Very assertive. Exactly. Exactly. Assertive. I mean, uh, um, and um, um, assertive, uh, honest. Um, if you um, if you feel, I mean, if you feel like love, show it. Just show it. Don't keep it in yourself. Mm -hmm. So these are very important uh, three tips uh, that uh, I can. Uh, how do you tell. Sh how do you mean show love if you feel it? What do you mean? If by you that? like, they like, they like it. They like it. Um, they are not on uh, vishy vashi types. You like me? Show it. Just show it. Do not hide it. Do not hide it or try uh, or do not try to 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 postpone it. Play it. Um, they are not on. They are not on expensive gifts. They don't look to expensive gifts. They don't look to these things. They just look to you, to your emotions, and they they look to you as a man. They want you, not anything else. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, it's true. When a serious good girl, as I call it, she wants to know about you. She asks questions about you. Yeah. It's not about uh, take me shopping, do this no, no, no. for me. It's about uh, just talking about your future, right? Your future and as you well. You really got into that quickly on the first date. Yes. Heavy, like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's worked for you. Um, the ladies appreciate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of, course. of course. That's great. Great advice. Great advice. Anything you would do differently? Um, I guess. Well, you haven't been too long on this journey, actually. You're uh, yeah. you're a pretty newbie at this, which is which is good. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the battle scars that most guys have. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, well, um, actually, um, I would I would I would select my profiles. I mean, the profiles uh, carefully. Like, I would like really. I would look to uh, to. Job. I mean, not only not only beauty and photos, but also also uh, past history, because I had I had one experience with the first date, and uh, um, the uh, the lady was so beautiful, so beautiful. But in her profile, it was mentioned that he, she has two sons, and one of the sons, I mean, was really 16 years old, and the other one was seven. But like she you said, was, was a man. She was, was a big boy. She, yeah, she was. She was like. Seriously, 38 years old, okay, 38 years old, but very, very beautiful, okay, very beautiful, but her son was a man, and it was, for me and for her, very difficult to come together, invite, invite a man to my house, okay, if, if, in case of, of marriage, okay? Mm -hmm. So, you need to study the profile carefully, really, you need to know exactly what you want, mm -hmm. it, will, it, will save you, it will save you time, effort, and everything. You know, Mohammed, I think that's a fantastic tip. I did, I learned the same uh, lesson when I was <laughs> sitting in your uh, seat there. Yeah. That uh, you need to know what you want. What you and don't want. compromise on that. You yeah. thought, oh, she's so beautiful. I'll try. Exactly. I thought, exactly. Right. Exactly. Of course. I did the same thing. Exactly. I knew what I wanted, and I compromised. But then you end up starting a relationship. And if you had it, started a relationship, it could have taken you off course. Yes. And off your target. Yes. And uh, delayed your success. Yes. So it's, it's a, a life. Tip. It's a life journey. It's a life journey, and uh, you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna stay with with this woman or, or live with this woman um, you lifelong. I mean, mm -hmm. it's uh, so. Yeah, yes, great tip, Mohammed. Thank, thank you thank so you much, much for being thank so you very much. open and vulnerable and sharing your experiences. Thank you and you've much. agreed uh, you've agreed to do another video testimonial when you meet your half and you're successful. Of so, course. So of course. everybody will look forward to seeing that in the not too distant future. I think. I hope so. I hope. I have so. a good feeling thank that you you're going to meet your half. Thank you very so, much, Joseph. All yeah, the best, and uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you very much, Joseph. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's no doubt to me you will find your half. Sure. There's no question. Sure, of course. Uh, because you're a man of action, uh, and I see you're not going to give up. You have a little definitely not. Def block, definitely not. Move on. It, it, uh -huh. Definitely not. Yeah. It. It. Ha uh, I mean, it requires some patience. Okay. You shouldn't rush. Or, but it has its time. It. Yeah. It will come. You will. Have I'm sure. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Mohammed, uh, I have a bit of a surprise for you. Um, listen, we uh, at Match Guarantee, we really celebrate your victory. When you get married, it is the happiest day for you and it's also the happiest day for us. Because it is so important in your life that you have your future happy family. So we would like to offer okay, to pay for your wedding in Ukraine. We will organize it uh, if you want to get married in Ukraine. Yeah. We will organize it and pay for it in Kiev. Uh, up to 30 guests. Oh, okay. that's an excellent thing, uh, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, really an excellent thing. Thank you very much, Joseph. Okay, so uh, a little bit about the wedding. Um, so we know all of the uh, the venues to house it at. All of, all of the different vendors will have a fire thrower at the wedding. Different games, lots of fun. 